What is up guys and girls, this is Glenn, once again, here with another Rope Rage video. Today's video is going to be slightly different. We're going to be looking at how jump rope movement is the key, the major key to unlocking that inner beast of a ninja that lives inside each and every one of us. How should you do it? Where should you do it? When should you do it? Well, you should do it pretty much all the time. But the point is that any questions you've got regarding moving with a jump rope, I'm gonna answer in this video, or at least I'm gonna attempt to. I mean, as always, if there are any questions, if there are any further comments, or if you just wanna say hi, I love you, feel free to drop it in the comments section down below. Oh, and also, subscribe now for more videos. All right. That's enough nattering from me, let's crack straight into the video now. So why on earth should you start moving with your jump rope? The first reason is power. When you move with the rope, you are having to push off the ground. Similar to how a boxer, as he's striking a punch, he has to generate the power through his legs and transfer it through his core through the upper body and let loose on his opponent. As you're moving with the rope, you're having to generate power from the ground as you push forwards and you can really exert this through your hands and through the rope so you could get a nice snappy sharpness to your swings of the rope. This was something I noticed when I first started moving with the rope that I could really put my back into it, put my whole body into my swings of the rope and it just made my techniques that little bit sharper and that little bit zippier all right so the next thing is awareness i call this the skip sense <laughs> you know like kind of like the movie the skip the skip sense i just i just really want you to see what i've done there But anyway moving around with the rope really improves your awareness of how much space you have to work with but you also have to be aware of the space inside your rope because as you move, your hand positioning must change as well. Otherwise that rope is gonna catch you. If you move forward, your hands have to go with you and they have to go at the same pace. Otherwise something is gonna be out of alignment and that rope is gonna catch on something. If you're moving backwards as well, you also have to be aware of things behind you. Otherwise this can happen. So in short, I think it's really a beneficial practice to do for just building awareness, building comfort with the rope and being able to take your ability to expert level. And the third thing is work rate is pretty much self-explanatory. The more you move, the more sweat you're burning, right? Everyone knows this. So if you're moving forwards and you're moving backwards, okay, practicing the techniques that you've you've become accomplished with crossovers lunges double unders whatever you want to do if you're moving as you do that you're training different aspects of your leg muscles you're propelling off the ground a bit more you've also activated a bit more brain training because there's more to think about there's more to be aware of so try this out in your training start slow start with normal single unders and then transition into something uh, a bit more complicated Start slow, be patient with it. It's tricky to start with, but I definitely recommend it for anyone. And that's about it for today's video. A nice, short and sweet one. I appreciate you watching it. Let me know down below which of these points you're most looking forward to adding to your skill set. Whether you want to get more powerful or more aware, or you just want to work a bit harder and work up a bit more of a sweat, burn more calories as you train. Let me know down below. I look forward to hearing it. It's always great to have a chat with you guys. But I'm going to round up this video. And do not forget, of course, to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more of these videos. I try to drop a video each week and I appreciate it if you do that. It really helps out. It helps me to keep drumming these videos out and it helps me to help you in a nutshell. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks once again. And until next time. All the best with your training and stay raging.